all right all right so this is part two guys greetings 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 you're now tuned into soulful king who no longer has a dream by the mission i will achieve i'm here to raise the energy the frequency and the vibrations of the collective all right please do not be scammed in the comments do not be scammed on any other social media platforms use your discernment i'm only doing collective readings i'm not doing personal readings it is not me okay all right so with that being said you have now entered a sacred space of love and light I love y'all so much. The ones that have watched the first video, it has became a second video because my alarm had went off and that was divine timing. And also it changed. I had to get used to some change because that never happened to me. So now me making a part two is something I never had to do. But see, there's no growth in your comfortability. And that's what I mean about in the first video where healers are still healing, where teachers are still learning, where you're never too old to learn, you're never too young to teach. So we're going to dive back in. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you can see my future readings. Readings, okay um, make sure you watch part one first before you jump into part two because it could be something significant that you could be missing or was meant for you to see or hear all right so on the bottom of the deck still it says you are the truth true still I'm hearing still you are the truth true all right and I was trying to figure out that I need to get something different my center masters and ancestors said no to finish where you left off at keep the same cards you got feathers and coins. Some of y'all could be saying feathers and coins. That is significant. Those are your sending masters and your ancestors. That is your, your spirit team. I'm hearing your family wants you to know that they're there. they also trying to get your attention. They're, try, they're trying to get your attention. Pick up that coin. Pick up that feather. No matter if it's a penny. And usually they leave more pennies than they'll leave anything. Because they want your faith small the mustard seed. They'll leave the smallest thing. Yes, I love that download. And the bird just came to chill with me. Greetings. Let's see what else they got to say. You are a pure soul. Some of y'all are so pure. I love y'all. Y'all definitely part of the soul, try me. Make sure you drop in the comments everything that I've been saying. Claim it. Declare it in the comments. Okay? You can leave a sunflower for me. You can leave a white heart. Um, I love bees. Like, share the love because you are so pure. You got it in you. All right? Share the love. You got, you are definitely chosen. Listen, the Cinder Master's ancestors want you to know that you are definitely chosen. You're a chosen one. You better believe, you better claim it. I am chosen. I am chosen. I don't like people like, I don't like label myself, but I, I'm not labeling you. Your Cinder Master's ancestors labeling you. If you read, if you listen to part one where it says you are a Cinder Master ancestor, you're the first, you're a pure soul. You have been chosen. You've been chosen because of your soul. You've been chosen because of who you truly are on the inside. You've been chosen. By your family. You've been chosen by the most high. Alright. I'm hearing to go back. For the ones that missed out on part one. Ain't no such thing as miss out. Please go back and watch part one before you go watch part two. Okay. You could be missing something significant. The Egyptian gods and oracle cards. I'm going back to those. They told me to go back to that. You'll send the masters and ancestors trying to get your attention. I keep saying that. They're trying to get your attention. They want you to have courage. They want you to be strong, be grounded. They want you to know that your security is secure. They want you to know that you're secure. Your security is secure, I'm hearing. You're secure. You're secure in your finances. Your whole life is secure. You are whole, you are complete. There's nothing missing. You are the, the puzzle, the piece that has been missing out of the whole puzzle. It was you. It's you. I'm here. I'm getting the goosebumps, the chills right now. Prosperity. Geb. Come on now. Some of y'all got some prosperity coming in. And Geb, that's his name. The number five can be significant to you. And then one thing about um, Geb, in the Viking runes, Geb meets contracts, partnerships. It's the X. When the pirates be like, X marks the spot. The treasure, you the treasure. You're prosperous. You're gaining prosperity. I'm hearing it's gaining momentum. Your prosperity is building. You are building. You are growing. Your prosperity is rising. It's raising. <laughs> it's rising. They say it's raising. You know how spirit speaks in parables. It's rising. It's comes coming through so fast. Is gaining momentum. Your prosperity is rising. The reason why it's rising is because you're matching the energy. You're on the vibration of prosperity. You have to feel prosperous and abundant first before it comes in. You can't continue to be 
oh, I just wish I, oh, things just not working out. Oh, I'm just, you know, and I'm speaking from experience. And that's not going to get you anywhere. That energy is just going to keep getting you what you're putting out. You keep putting out that you in despair and you lacking. When you're not lacking anything, the Lord's your shepherd, you should not want. You shouldn't want for nothing because you're going to have everything. He says, seeks the kingdom and everything will be added. Feel wholeness. Feel complete. Feel prosperous. Feel abundant. Because you are. Feel pure. Feel protected and accepted. Feel supported. Feel these things so that your energy can send that send like that wave out to the earth, to the universe, to source, to your ascended masters and ancestors, and they can give you back what you're get what you're giving them. Give me six of pentacles. In tarot, give me six of pentacles. What you give out comes back in. That's one of my songs. Plant your seeds and manifest. What you put out, it comes back in. What you put out comes back in. Come on now. Let's see what else they got to say. I just seen Genesis. This is a new beginning for you. Some of y'all embarking on a new beginning. Some of y'all are gonna really take this video and like make some changes in your life. And you're gonna see how it's gonna really benefit you. It all starts in the mind first. Mind over matter. You got righteous. Come on. Righteous, righteous. Righteous, righteous is the Lamb. Come on, righteous. Mert Sega, Mert Sega. 32 could be significant, March 2nd, February 3rd. The number five, righteousness, righteousness. You have, you, right, you have righteousness. Because of your righteousness, you, I'm hearing you, it was coming through so fast. Like, you have gained access to the kingdom. Ooh, to the kingdom. But we got prosperity down here, though. You have gained access to the kingdom. That's that milk and honey that they speak of. I'm also getting blue. Like you, you, you call in, call it in. You need to call it in. Also, it's giving me blue lotus. Some of y'all need to look into the blue lotus. Okay, the blue lotus flower. What else? I am so grateful. Thank you so much. We are divinely connected with them. They want your, they will send a message and answer trying to get your attention. They, I, I'm going to repeat what they said to me. Before, thank you. I'm going to repeat what they said to me before I switched it. I said they want your attention. No, I said they trying to get your attention, but they said I want your attention. That's what I heard. And they gave me like a, like a teacher. Like a teacher said, can I get your undivided attention? Your cinematic ancestors say, I want your attention. Your spirit team say, I want your attention. Your angels say, I want your attention. The Most High say, I want your attention. It's a demand. They demanding your attention. And then you got to have faith and wisdom. Come on. I believe in myself. That blocks negativity. I'm all about vibes and integrity. That's a piece of my song. I had to say it because I'm just pulling this stuff out. And I'm trying to show you. How divinely connected I am and how divinely connected you are because we we on you on the channel watching me. We divinely connected. You are part of the soul tribe. I am a divine oracle messenger. I'm here to help raise the energy, the frequencies, and vibrations of the collective. I am soulful king who no longer has a dream but has a mission I will achieve. And I'm gonna achieve it. I'm telling you, faith and wisdom. Yes, Isis, the number seven, lucky seven. Isis, divine feminine and masculine. I'm talking to you. Faith and wisdom. Didn't wisdom come out already? Y'all need to watch part one. We already had wisdom. Then it say faith and wisdom. Have faith. Because you wise. And wisdom comes from experience. It's not always age. It's not always age. It's not always age. You know how many children were in the scripture that was actually preaching? You know how many children are wise that graduate at the age of 12 and 13? College and stuff like that? Wisdom. It has nothing to do with their age. It's their experience. And it's usually because of their gen... gen I mean, a genie code. The genetic code that they have in their body, the ancestral messages that get passed down through them. Some children come out awakened, already knowing who, what their purpose is here, and that's what it make them geniuses. But see, one thing I always learned about Albert Einstein, and the reason why I go to him first, because they always said this: Albert Einstein was very intelligent, but he didn't have no common sense. We gotta have faith, g gain clarity which becomes wisdom. And wisdom is usually when you, after you learnt 
your lesson and you chose to change and do something different, then you gain the wisdom. Watch the part where I'm telling you. And let me put it in better words. If I'm repeating the same cycle over and over and over and keep getting the same results doing the same damn thing, ain't no wisdom. That's just knowledge because knowledge speaks and wisdom listens. But when I listen and I surrender and choose to change my perception, choose to change my present, my present affects my future. Now I've gained the wisdom. Because you was wise enough to let go of the things that you couldn't change. And you changed the things that you were able to. And you had the wisdom to know the difference. Because of the work you put in. Wisdom don't come from just sitting there and be like, well, I just gained wisdom. Wisdom comes from experience. You have to go through something. I know I'm wise because of what I've been through. But I'm still growing. I'm still learning. And I'm open to that. I love this journey. It's amazing. Ain't no turning back. You can't take off the glasses and, and be revealed things and your life just becomes so beautiful and you're like, I want to go back to this. Uh, I'm, I'm No, that's not how I go. New level, new devil. The more gifts you get, the more enhanced you get, the more psychic you get, the more clairvoyance, clairaudience you get, things be, continue to get more revealed and it's going to hurt you because there's going to be people close to you that you're going to be seeing them so different. The world you ain't going to see the same. You're going to be like, well, I feel isolated. Don't. That's why I'm here. I want to be an example so that you don't have to feel alienated because I know how it feels. I love you, collective. Faith and wisdom. At the bottom of the deck, Hermitage. Consul. The number 20 can be significant. February can be significant to you. The number two can be significant. Hermitage. Hermitage. Some of y'all need to go in hermitage. Go within to find clarity. Go within to seek knowledge. That means no matter what we talk about here, the choice that you make will affect your future. Take all I'm saying and take it back to God. Take it back to the Most High. Take it back and speak. Have your own conversation. He say don't lean on your own understanding. So go back and have your own conversation. That was just clarity right there. Do you not hear the car crank up? Vroom, vroom. Light up inside. Crank up. Crank up. Crank up, it's your time. This is your time. This is my season for grace and favor. You have the righteous. Your righteousness is what gained you into the, the kingdom. This is my season to reap what I have so Prosperity, come on. Come on. Faith and wisdom. Strength, courage, and wisdom. It's been inside of me all along. They, the deck split for a reason. Order and peace. Order my steps in your word. Enlightenment. The most high showing you my gifts. Stop playing. Order my steps in your word. And what just felt? Dev devastation. These people finna be mad. You got people jaws dropping. Cause you'll come up. Devastation. Genesis. New beginning. New beginning. Number 30 can be significant. 24. April 2nd. Number six, March, devastation. And this is a moment I'm finna have. I'm finna show you how perf how imperfect I am. Because I'm pure, but I'm not perfect. This is a moment where I'm taking it back to the most high. Because I believe in my gifts, but I'm finna show you how authentic I am. Devastation. I said my own thing I wanted to say. But I'm actually grab the book right book real quick and read it. When I could just trust in my gifts, right? I had to do that on purpose to show you. Nobody's perfect. Sometimes we have moments where we second guess ourselves. It's okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. It says God of hell and afterlife. Emmet. Hybrid figure of a lion, a crocodile, and a hippopotamus, which devours the souls and the hearts of those who made mistakes in life. Excessive pride, presumption, greed, eagerness for conquest. Emmet represents the consequences of past mistakes. You have to face a drastic change with the elimination of the lifestyle you were used to. Come on now. Or a crisis with your partner or a painful breakup with the consequent of collapse of your de defenses. But everything can be resolved if you reflect as soon as possible on the solutions to bring about a positive change. I was saying all this before all this even happened. You can give rise to a t totally new 
recovery, change your perspective, and take up new positions. Come on now. I believe in myself. I believe in you. I love you because the most high love me. And he'll do it for me, he'll do it for you. Do you not hear me? You want to send the masters and ancestors trying to get your attention. They want you to know that you, you are like this ancient, divine, powerful, protected, strong being. Drop the load, I'm hearing. Drop the load. Let it go. Let it go. You too powerful for that. Your energy is needed. You are needed here. All the stuff that came out from video one and part two, you are needed here. We need you. We need you. And I'm part of the soul, your soul tribe. I want you to grow. I want to see you prosper so that we can come together one day. And not I'm talking about in divine spirit. We can come together on earth too. Where we can help raise the energy, the frequency, and the vibrations of the collective together. Like literally, I would love that. It would be so beautiful to run into other divine souls that are balanced, that are still growing, that are, are healing, but at a divine heal stage that we can even vibrate on the same frequency. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So that being said, I love you so much. Make sure you subscribe and, and that notification bell. Make sure you hit the all so that you can see all future readings. I'm going to send your divine energy back to you with love and light. And I'm going to call all my divine energy back to me with love and light. Okay, peace, love and light. Namaste. Amen. I say yo, I evil bo. I have now ended this sacred space. And you have now left the sacred space of love and light.